Hello everyone, something to two, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Megane, except this time we're going to be covering the configs. So, uh, we'll just go to where we are here, and you can find it under Whaler here, so that's one specifically. And uh, if you are obviously unaware of how to get to dot .minecraft, just go to the button there for the resource packs, and then you go straight to resource packs. Go out, go to configs, and like I said, obviously it's under the following here. Uh, you can also view this via mod menu as well, which we probably might use, besides the other. So it's under M specifically. I can't see it, so there we go. You just search it. And a few other aspects as well. Okay. So you've got inventory, energy, fluid, and progress. Inventory allows you to either enable or disable the actual feature being presented. You can set the width and the height of it being assume, presented accordingly. So, for example, we'll go as just the icons, I assume, also. So, put a chest down and we'll put a chest inside. And we'll say, for example, just put, I don't know, it's on a cobble in here as well. Just fill up the entire inventory with a bunch of different types of blocks, because why not? And items and everything else for some reason. Just trying to catch up on what I can. I'm only clicking on certain things. Pretty much. Okay, so we'll just put all this stuff in here. We'll just see what stuff it can actually display, for example. So we can see that it displays that much. And so on. It displays the amount of stacks and obviously other different types of items. If we go to the following again, whoops, go in here. We can change this. Now I don't know what the maximum is, we'll also check the other one. I don't think it displays. Nope, so there's no note saying this is such and such a comment. Um, so I don't know, we'll just put, say for example, 20 width, we'll go 20 height, and then we'll go either blacklist or whitelist, which will allow us to pretty much specify what we don't want to see, I assume. So I'm not sure if that means we just go something like Minecraft chest, and that'll work, and that'll prevent, say, the chest item or block, but uh, in the actual display element, not the actual inventory that we're wanting to see inside. My guess is that, but I don't know. Um, no, okay, so it actually is based on the inventory itself. Okay, so apparently that's the case. So much for a guess that it wasn't. Um, so let's see, we'll go here and we'll remove that and I assume that'll work. Um, so 20 and 20, I don't know if that's actually a possible option, I assume, maybe, there we go. Oh, okay, so it's where it is on the screen, not the actual block icon, or item icon, and such. Okay, so that's cool. So you can pretty much present it accordingly, so if you don't want it in the center of the screen, or top center, um, you can have it presented more to the left accordingly. So that's that, but then when it comes to, okay. Oh yeah, again, it is only the inventories that we've set it to, so that makes sense. Um, obviously if I got rid of all the cobble, and we went with actual other blocks, we can see how further it actually stretches, instead of just using the same types of items. So we'll just go like this, I guess, because why not? So we'll just try moving all this stuff in. And, okay, so that's how far it goes, and then it eventually stops there. Or we could probably keep going, and then it would pan it across, so... So let's see, go something a bit different compared to 20, go say 40, go a height of 40 as well, I assume that can accept it, yes, 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 and yes, and that's like so. Now obviously if it was a bigger inventory, we'd probably keep going. Now we've got two stacks of those, we'll just go another chest next to it, and then we'll just add, I don't know, chest plates, for example. And that'll go to the next inventory, and then there we go, single items, and it actually goes off screen surprisingly, interesting, okay. Um, and I don't know if changing the GUI would actually change it in there either. We'll take a look if that actually does, which it does kind of benefit, okay. That's good to know, so just put it a bit bigger so it's easy to see because one is quite small. And there we go. So it doesn't actually wrap around to the next um, 
when it's like, oh, okay, this is the edge of the screen. It's like, nope. It's just, it'll go off screen, but it'll still try and present everything accordingly. Which is good to know. Um, so, now that we've done that, we can go in again. That's obviously all the item ones. Uh, for energy, you've got a few different ones. So obviously the similar again with enabling or disabling the feature. As well as expand, which obviously will only present itself when you're sneaking. Okay, there's a lot of going in and out of menus here. Um, so that'll be where it expands to, instead of just saying 1 million or 60k, it'll show obviously the full 60,000 and 1 million energy there, as you can see. So we can disable that if we want. Pretty much, so we'll do that. Um, or it probably shows the expanded, but without the need to sneak is more so the guess there. You've got units, so you can see the energy units you want to see. So obviously there's the E1 for um, Tech Reborn and Astromine, and you've got the um, Blizzard Leaf Lux for Industrial Revolution. Um, I'm trying to think, there's probably others you could show, but there is only very few Fabric Power APIs compared to what was on the other mod loader, but yeah. So if we wanted to, for example, not see that one, I just cancelled it, whoops. Um, yeah, we'll just do that. We can add a new one and actually just present the mod in the following unit. And um, we'll go done. We'll change the bar colours as well. Or we'll, I guess remove that. We'll change that to. I don't know. There's a. Oops, gonna crash. Okay. Because that's not an appropriate hex ID, so it's not gonna do it. But yeah. But my guess is that obviously it would just, you know, remove the. Um, or change accordingly to what it needs to. Um, so without sneaking. Oh, okay, and it can also present oxygen as well in the electrolyzer. Okay. I wasn't sure if it would count. Oxygen, which I think is a gas in this mod, not a fluid, I'm not sure. Um, and certain other things I can't understand, I'll put the technical name, um, or because it probably hasn't been presented accordingly. But, yeah. um, so obviously I assume you can do the sneaking, you can only display certain power API or power um, according stats, um, as well as a few other things like the colour. So if you don't want, I guess, for example, red, you can change it to green or blue or yellow or whatever type of colour sort of extent you have. Um, I hope that it doesn't crash again. Um, I probably could just actually go into mod menu, actually. Go into mod menu. That's probably what we're going to want to do instead. Um, change bar colours. That's back to normal, actually, so that's fine. Um, that's gone, and then blacklist, obviously we can set certain blocks we don't want to see certain things for. We've got the fluid, which we can enable or disable, expand just like energy, um, set the bar colour and specify specific fluids we don't want to see the information of, or certain fluid blocks like the dust revolution tank I assume more so than what type of fluid it is. Um, and then we've got progress, which is obviously enabling or di and disabling, or the blacklist. So that'll be for specifically um, what's it? Uh, the progress bar. So if you want to specify blocks you don't want to see the progress arrow in, or you just want to disable it entirely, then yeah, that's pretty much what those do. Um, we'll see if this actually loads up or it still crashes, even though it was just for the hex value part for the color, so yeah. Um, which isn't crashing now, so we'll take a look. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. If you just want to specify a few other aspects, of course. Then, uh, yeah, and if you haven't seen the original video, then check that out if you want to see exactly what certain things are presented by default without tweaking any aspects, like this video is with tweaking things. So, yeah. So, I'll we'll just. Um, I should take a look just in case, though. Energy and expand while sneaking. I'll we'll actually see if that is the case for. Okay, so you just can't sneak. Okay. And I'm just trying to make sure I cover everything before ending off, because we didn't get to see them. Um, we'll do that to remove that, and that'll probably just not display the colored bars at all. Issue for them? Or the default? Possibly? Maybe? No? Not sure then. 
Um, actually, it doesn't display Wazuli Flux for one, we know that, which is correct. So that'll count as only one type of energy unit. Uh, bar colors, that's not going to change anything. So we'll just go, I don't know, Z, Z, F, F, G, G, A, A. I don't know exactly what that outputs to, but either way. Um, black or something, I assume, or clear, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, and then fluids, we already kind of know, of course, with the tank. Uh, that's probably not going to count, and that might count, so we'll take a look. So this, this, and this, and we'll just go and put water inside each of these. Accordingly. So that's that, that's that, and that's that. Uh, I can't put more in, so let's do this. So I'll just do that, that's how many is left, that's not going to split because it's not supported, and that's that. Okay. Um, but yeah. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. And then obviously the rest is pretty much here. Um, okay, so blacklisted blocks of progress, you can't see as those. And then everything else, if you know accordingly, then yeah. But that's obviously just the defaults.